And welcome to Idaho Today again. You know, heart disease is the leading cause of death among Idahoans. The innovations and advancements in heart surgery have improved the survival rate for people with heart problems. So I spoke with Dr. Robert Farvar. He's the director of cardiothoracic surgery at St. Alphonsus Heart Institute to learn how he utilized new technology to benefit one of his patients. Dr. Farvar, how common is heart disease and who's at risk? Heart disease is the most common killer in the United States. This was identified in the 1950s by the American Heart Association and there have been significant strides through research to decrease mortality in cardiac surgery over the past 70 years. It is the number one killer of people in industrialized Western societies such as the United States. Okay, and you have become the first doctor in this region to use a new pump in heart surgery. So tell us, what is this pump and why did you decide to use it? We use the Impella 5.5 pump, which is a pump made by Abiumed in Danvers, Massachusetts. It is a small pump, about five centimeters. It can be placed through the shoulder or directly at the time of surgery. What it basically does is it moves blood from the bottom of the heart to above the aortic valve and provides flow to the coronary arteries to support the heart after surgery or before surgery. And how significant then is this pump? It's very significant. Um, more and more people are living longer. More and more people are living with heart failure. And their options are either to do nothing and take medications that may or may not work or to have something more definitively performed. This allows us to perform a more definitive operation for patients, keep them out of the hospital, let them live longer, and have fewer symptoms. So is it easy to say then that this patient that received this new pump may have not been able to have heart surgery otherwise? A hundred percent I wouldn't have operated on him without the pump. He had a 20% ejection fraction and normal is 60 to 70. So to put it in a metaphor we can think about, it's like an eight cylinder car that's running on two cylinders. Oh wow. And we wouldn't have wanted to operate on those two cylinders. This pump gave him all eight cylinders for five or six days while he recovered. And then we were able to take it out and he was able to go home. Oh wow, okay, that's a huge impact. How's he doing now? He's doing great. We had the office speak with him a few days ago and check in on him and he said he's doing just great. That's fantastic. And what other advances in technology are you using here for heart surgery at St. Alphonsus? A few of the differentiators of our practice is we use titanium plates to close every patient. So in the old days, people used wires and wires could kind of move and people felt uh, it took six to eight months to recover. With the plates, it takes three or four weeks and the recovery is much stronger. Wow. That's one real differentiator of our practice. Uh, we use all the latest technologies uh, with structural heart and our team approach to valvular surgery and open heart surgery. So MitraClip, TAVR, clinical trials such as Tendine are being offered for the first time here. So we believe we're bringing modern, robust cardiology and cardiac surgery to the region. Wow, and all of that I can imagine just significantly improves the outcomes and success for your patients. Where can people go so they can learn more? People can go to the St. Alphonsus Regional Medical Center website. Uh, they can also go to heartvalvesurgery.com for information about heart valve surgery. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Farber. Thank you for having me.